All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about Theta and TFuel, specifically how to set up the wallets for them. Now, if you are someone that's a veteran, you're an expert with Theta, you're an expert with wallets, and you've already moved your Theta to your wallet, then maybe you can skip this video. But if you do skip this video, you're probably going to miss the subtle oddities that I found with Theta wallets that you might want to know about. And they center around the mobile wallets that Theta does provide. But if you are new and you just bought your first Theta, just bought your first TFuel or T-Drop, and you still have that on Binance, then maybe this is the time for you to move that off of Binance into your wallet. Why? Because Binance is a centralized exchange. It's the biggest exchange. That means it's gonna get targeted by hackers. And if you leave your coins on Binance or any other centralized exchange, then you're leaving it at risk of being hacked, being taken away from you. And that's just gonna cause a lot of pain. So the smartest move would be to watch through this entire video, get your wallet set up with Theta, get your wallet set up with Ledger and move all your tokens from Binance or whatever centralized exchange you use to buy Theta or TFuel or T-Drop and move all your coins into those wallets just as a security state. So with that said, if you are a new viewer or you're a returning viewer and you have not subscribed can you just do me this one favor? I really make these videos in order to protect you guys, to educate you guys who are new to crypto or to educate those of you who are experts in crypto that you might not know about some subtle things with Theta or other cryptos like that. So just want to push this video out there and you can help by smashing the like button, smashing the subscribe button. And after you've done that, let's jump into the video. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we're over here on my Binance account and you can see I managed to get around 2003 Theta tokens at a cost average of around $2.83. So with that said, it's very unsafe to leave your tokens on an exchange like Binance. It's a centralized exchange. It's the biggest exchange as I'm filming right now. So that's gonna make it a target for hackers. So you wanna move this stuff off into cold storage as soon as possible. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at how to set up our Theta web wallet. And what they recommend here is that when you're creating a new wallet, you wanna do it offline. I'm gonna go through that in this entire video. They also mentioned that they have some wallet apps on Google Play Store and on your iOS device. So for myself, I am a security paranoid freak. So you heard that here. And I will not have apps like that that are placed in my phone because that's just a security risk. Never download any sort of mobile wallet into your phone because if you lose your phone, well, someone can potentially hack into your wallet and you don't want that because you'll lose all your assets that way. So anyways, we're gonna talk about this wallet and this is kind of old actually, but it's still relevant. After that, we're also gonna take a look at how this interacts with hardware wallets because ideally we want to put everything in our ledger. So we're also gonna take a look at that. So over here, we're at walletdatatoken.org forward slash create and notice that I am now disconnected from the internet. My Wi-Fi is off. I want you to do the same thing if you haven't disconnect yourself from your Wi-Fi or airplane mode though I don't suggest you do this on your phone at all. What I want you to do here is set a new password. So set a password that you will remember. And then click this I understand thing. And then I want you to click download key store. But once you download the key store, actually, once you click that button, you would get this encrypted key store. And this file will be staying on your computer and will be used to unlock your wallet anytime you want to access it. And you will also need to copy down this mononic seed phrase, which is 12 words, which is kind of like a forget your password. We don't have forget your password when it comes to blockchain. They give you 12 words, you have to remember it. If you don't remember it, you lose everything in that wallet forever. So go ahead, click continue and copy the phrase that comes up. So after you saw your 12 phrases, you should have also seen like a view your private key button. You should have also clicked that view private key, which will show you your private key. And like the 12 phrases, you would copy down that private key and the 12 phrases into a notepad or some place that you can remember that you won't get rid of because those are the only ways that you can recover your Theta wallet if you lose your key store file or you forget your password. Make sure you save them correctly and store them offline in some place, never online or in the cloud. Though I think that, yeah, I'll just actually leave it there. I actually save a lot of things to online, but not with Google. I actually save it with ProtonMail because everything that's on ProtonMail is encrypted. But I guess the safest way is actually to write it down somewhere that you won't lose. So with that said, now if you're on this screen, your wallet has been created and now you can reconnect your device 
to the internet and unlock your new Theta wallet. So now that I'm connected to the internet again, I can go ahead and click unlock wallet. And I could put my key store file over here, just drop it in there and put in my wallet password and then click unlock wallet. So that will show us our new wallet with the amount of Theta, T field, T drop balances that we have. So we can go ahead and click on send to basically send to another address, receive, so if you want to donate some Theta or T-Drop or T-Fuel to me, just use this address, feel free. Stakes would be here. Contract settings, which is something you don't really need to know. So other than that, we have our Theta wallet set up. So over here, we want to take a look to see how we can connect our ledger or our treasure. So over here in WalletThetaToken.org unlock cold wallet, we have the hardware option to choose a treasure or a ledger and we can click the ledger. It should come up with this. Make sure that your ledger is connected with the Ethereum app open before you click continue. So once you click connect, you have some options that come up and you can choose one of your accounts. The 7D1C is my main account. So I would pick that one and boom. Now you have a Theta wallet connected that is on your ledger. So the thing here is that Theta is its own standalone blockchain, but it uses the same SHA-3 cryptography that Ethereum does. So the addresses use the same format, which is why we can basically send our Theta and our T fuel to our ETH address. So at this point, what I wanna do is I wanna go to Binance and do a test. I always recommend doing a test rather than sending everything. So I'm just gonna go to withdraw here. And with withdraw, I'm gonna enter my address here which has the network Theta token, and it's gonna cost 38 cents to do this transaction. And I'm just going to withdraw a minimal amount of tokens. So 0.24, like they say there. And then I'll click withdraw. Fully understand, confirm, continue. All right, so enter your codes and click submit. So I'll see you at the other side. All right, so we're getting an approval. The withdrawal is being reviewed and will take approximately 12 hours. I doubt that's usually pretty fast. And let's just click complete right now. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a look at what's going to happen on our Theta wallet. So I'm expecting this to go up by like 0.24 or something, minus any network fees. So actually just, Point 12. So as you can see here, we are over here on my Theta wallet and you could see the 0.12 Theta that was transferred over from Binance. So what I want you to do is I actually want you to go and if you have any sort of Theta balance in there, just move all of that to a Theta wallet because that will be more secure than leaving it on an exchange like Binance. So what I actually want you to do, I'm gonna actually log out and actually use the actual Theta wallet rather than the hardware wallet because they're both cold wallets. But I just feel like diversifying like that is going to provide some sort of security, more security than just leaving everything in my hardware wallet because they're both cold wallets and just moving thing, having things diversified like that just makes me feel better. All right guys, so at the end of it, you could see that I am just using my Theta wallet and what happened is I moved all my Theta and T-Fuel from Binance to the Theta wallet where it is much safer than it living on Binance. So other than that, that's pretty much all I wanna go through in this video. That's all I got for this video, guys. I really hope you learned something, whether you're new or you're a veteran, maybe you have those Theta mobile wallets downloaded on your phone for some reason. Guys, don't be dumb. Don't do that. Delete that off your phone because if you lose your phone, you're going to lose that wallet. You're going to lose all your Theta Guardian nodes and you're going to be crying. But anyways, jokes aside, I really hope that you got something on how to set up your Theta wallet with Theta or with a cold wallet like Ledger. Other than that, if you haven't already, please make sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, check out these other videos on cryptocurrencies and passive income. And remember guys, continue working, continue building, continue inspiring. See you next time. Thank you.